All right, here we are for our final round. Uh, we have one that I will play first. And uh, this is a totally fine hand. We have Rattleclaw into uh, into good mix of land and Knuckleblade plus Corsair and Dragon. And even a Stubborn Denial, so hard to go wrong. Go ahead and play a Temple. And we will keep we'll keep a land on top. We definitely want a uh, an, another land. So here, uh, depends on what my opponent plays, but uh, there's an interesting question of whether. Uh, all right, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get basic forest and play rattle claw. So, many, so much clicking to play Rattleclaw. You gotta click your lands, type many you want, and you have to click Rattleclaw, click cast face up. So basic planes, uh, and then let's not see an island. I don't want to see a, uh, another blue and heroic deck. Uh, Shivan Reef. Okay, so Jeskai. Does Rattleclaw Mystic live? No. Okay, Magma Jet. I don't know that the Magma Jet is more like, more like typical Jeskai and less the tokens version, I think. If I recall correctly, at least, um, I want to play Knuckleblade here. I, I want to be able to a it's just a you know a, a, a significant threat, whereas Corsair is not, uh, and b uh, it turns on Stubborn Denial as a full counter, which is powerful. Mantis Rider. All right. Well, uh, this is definitely a matchup where I would love to have those Lightning Strikes, which I currently do not have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this guy. The land. Oh, we got Yav My Coast, which is perfect because it enables the stubborn denial. A little bit, the little bit of life game from Corsair is actually also quite nice, especially in matchups like this um, that can uh, that can really uh, you know come down to a couple of a couple of life points, especially with how many pain lands this deck has. So stubborn denial looking to come up big right here. My opponent does play something like a Jeskai Charm. Hopefully not a second Mantis Rider. <clears throat> yeah, we're just gonna stubborn denial this. We don't want, we don't want to turn on and stoke the flames right here. Um, stubborn denialing this prevents my opponent from being able to stoke this turn, and is just generally I think a pretty powerful uh, pretty powerful tempo play. My creatures are all on the ground, and I don't want my opponent to uh, be able to sort of get a. Uh, Get an advantage like that. One man, one man at a counter of their turn basically is also quite nice. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack with Knuckleblade, and then play Phoenix. I think I'm playing Phoenix face up here. Um, I could morph Phoenix uh, and keep the stubborn denial up, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and play it, play it face up. It does force my opponent to do something with Mantis Rider. In order to actually get through, because you know it is an Ashcloud Phoenix. Phoenix is one of your best cards against Jeskai because it both can block Mantis Rider, and uh, and it is very resilient to actual removal effects. So, if, for instance, my opponent like uh, plays Stoke here and Stokes Ashcloud Phoenix, I actually ha like can just play Stormbreath Dragon and attack with everything next turn. Uh, which is actually not quite lethal, sorry. No, I thought, I thought it was, it was going to be lethal, but no, it's actually one off. Uh, I don't know, it is. Is it nine? You'd have to, he'd have to block a, yeah, have to block a four, po four power guy and just lose Mantis Rider. If he, uh, yeah, because the Storm Breath comes down to two, no, it's eight. Yeah, but has to block that. So it's not, not guaranteed lethal, but it is, it is forcing the opponent to jump block, which is sweet. I like doing that. So if Keratid not have our deck, if, our, if the next card is a land, we actually have Dragon plus Stubborn Denial, which is very powerful. Are we getting stoked? He's going to attack and then stoke this, maybe? Oh no, he has to, he has to stoke first, yeah, because of the Goblin. Oh, he's, he already, he, he, he already has, an, has a declare attacker step. I think my opponent may have screwed himself with priority with uh, stops, which is kind of unfortunate. So 
I just play dragon here and attack with everything, I think my opponent is in really bad shape. Has to has to block both of these. Like has to block. Yeah, can block like here and chump. I have a creative clause on top of my deck too. Um, can I die if I do this? So if I play Storm Breath and attack with everything. Um, he has to block both of these or one of the flyers. And if he has Stoke in hand, he's gonna, so he's gonna lose, gonna lose a guy. And like chump here, block here, or chump here, block here. And then has these two, which is three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, maybe that's not even good. Maybe just play this attack with both of these. Can I die with both of these back? Probably not. Oh, oh, my phone is ringing. No, I'm not. Stop. Stop. <laughs> um, it's pretty clear my opponent has stoke, just given the way that that that, uh, that last turn was going, which means that he can, he can lifelink the Seeker, blow something up, I wonder if I attack with Storm Breath, this and this. That means he has to block something. So he has to either lose the Seeker, which and no longer be able to lifelink, or lose Ravel Master and or, or Mantis Rider. I could just sit back, attack with like Phoenix and Knuckle Blade. Puts my opponent in position where he has to block one of them because this is gonna yeah has to chump block here anyway. And then I can play Karyatid and keep up Stubborn Denial. That's probably safer. All right, I think I'm just gonna do that. I have Crater's Claws on top of my deck. So, this feels better to me. I get to play Karyatid too, so next turn uh, I can, you know, very likely lethal my opponent anyway. I'm not sure this is right, but it feels it feels right. It feels better. This is just this is just sub substantially safer. My, my opponent's in a position where he has to block one of them, so we're just killing a guy, and then we we're keeping up stubborn denial and. Because if my opponent has Stoke plus, I don't know, something, maybe I die next turn the other way. He only has two cards. Maybe I should have just gone all in. Be six. No. No, I would have been dead to Stoke. If I, just, if I just attack with everything, he can just chump block, block. Yeah, chump block, block, attack with both. And then that's six, ten. I have to have a little bit more than that. But if they had land, like land jet or something, or like Jeskai charm, a Jeskai charm for plus one and lifelink. Would be pretty gross too. It'd be four. Uh, it would re represent three damage, but it would put my opponent out of out of potentially out of burn range next turn. Maybe not. But that that plus plus any burn spell would kill me. And this way, I think I think I just can't die. And my opponent is basically in a position where he is in a really rough rough spot, trying to not die himself. So we have a Stubborn Denial, we have Critical Cloud at the top of our deck. It seems very safe here. It seems like it's going to be really difficult for opponent to, to win. I think we do block here. If 
He has like two spells. Just Guy Charm. So there's the Just Guy Charm, and we're going to counter that. So this, yeah, this could have gone badly for me. <laughs> if I had tried to go all in here. We're going to counter that. Is. All right, it goes up to seven. <laughs> and then I'm fairly sure Crater's Claws will just kill him. Well, let's just attack with everyone first. Can they block and stoke? So yeah, if I had if I had just attack with everyone, I think I would have died. I think I would have gotten Jeskai charmed and stoked and died. If I had just played dragon and attack with everyone. Yep. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Glad I played it the way I did. Maybe that maybe it wasn't a stoke there, but looked like it. Alright, so against Jeskai aggro, uh, we definitely want another stubborn denial, and I do think we want arc lightnings. Um, they're not amazing. But they do kill both Mantis Rider and uh, and t take out uh, Rabble Master effectively. Critter's Claws is only okay. We're gonna we're gonna cut like a couple of. Well, I'm we'll actually only gonna play three Arc Lightnings. We'll play three Arc Lightnings, three Critter Claws. Critter's Claws is obviously pretty efficient at dealing with their uh, their cheap guys. Um, so I want to take out a little bit of my high end. I don't want to have a bunch of you know fours and fives in my hand. Pelucanos is great. Ashclaw Phoenix is great. I think Sarkhan is the weak link here. So I can be able to kill, um, being able to kill uh, Mantis Rider is actually pretty powerful. Maybe just take out some number of Stormbreath Dragons. The fact that Stormbreath Dragon dies to Stoke is pretty uh, pretty unfortunate for a you know five mana card. Uh, Sovereign Denial is good at protecting it, but I wonder if Corsair Corsair is also a card that maybe I could shave. It's reasonable defending on the ground if games do go long. Accumulating life points is pretty valuable, but I think I just want to take out Stormbreaths. They're just so expensive. And often don't have enough of a board impact because they just died of stoke. I think I'm gonna try this. I'm not sure this is right. Um, but but I'm gonna give it a shot, so let's do it. The big high toughness monsters um, I think are generally very effective. So this is this is a weird hand. I uh, don't have any threats, but I do have I do have all of my colors, acceleration and stubborn denials. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, get, go ahead and keep this. I have you know so many, uh, so many just big creatures that I think this is a reasonable keep regardless. So temple for you. I'm gonna open with the Avamaya Coast. Maybe, maybe you play some sort of spell. Very little downside to, to opening with Coast. I'm just gonna. Just gonna foothill. Oh, there's another stubborn denial. All right. Well, maybe this is getting a little, uh, a little out of hand. We need any monster now. Any monster will go all the way with triple protection. That's a good draw. Um, I actually kind of want to play a land first, though, because I want to be able. I want to ensure that I have stubborn denial up. I guess stubborn denial is not going to be very. Eh, no, I, I don't want to be able to Jeskai charm my guy. It's a little awkward, but eh, I don't think. I don't think it'll matter that much. Maybe it will. Hmm. No, I'm going to play my land first. I want to be able to keep my Jessica Charm up for sure. Or my Stubborn, or stubborn Denial up. Oh well. We lost a land. Lost a free land. 
Given that I have three stubborn denials, I want to be able to you know, ensure that I can use them and not just get, get them stuck in my hand. My opponent sent me a message. Hi, Edgar. All right, we can create his claws this. We unfortunately, our courser is not a monster, so I can't create his claws for cheap. But I can still create a clause for three and leave up a stubborn denial. So, eh, well, we drew, we drew a bivouac, so or we hit a bivouac, so maybe not. I'm just gonna create a clause this. Uh. We need monsters. We have stubborn denials and no monsters. The courser is, you know giving us a little bit of value and digging us through our deck, which is certainly very nice. Opponent doesn't have double red, so he actually can't even, huh, well, all right, I don't want to draw that, actually. I, I, uh, I do want to draw a monster, so I'm going to go ahead and play a Foothills. Well, I guess I can wait until my opponent's turn to find out if I want to draw it. All right, well, I don't really know what is in my opponent's hand. Maybe it's just a bunch of cheap burn spells. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Try and draw ourselves a monster. Oh, maybe Jeskai Charm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I may be getting Jeskai Charmed right now. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna protect our guy. <laughs> we're getting two for one here. But given that I have so little else going on, I don't want to let him get my guy. I still have a third stubborn denial on this point. That's actually the whole reason that I was thinking of not doing it before. But all right, so it's kind of like a submerge, but. Okay, a forest. And we're gonna draw Pelucranos. Yay, a Pelucranos! Ooh, well, we got a free land off that. We'll play our Pelucranos. We're not gonna use the uh, the Wooded Foothills to, th to throw away our Knuckle Blade. And this course is certainly doing a lot better than Boon Setter would have. And that was, uh, that was sort of a, certainly a feature of my previous version of the deck that in these longer games, Courser gives you a lot of value, and uh, Boon Seder is kind of garbage. I'm sure my opponent's hand is a full, you know, full of things like Magma Jet and Lightning Strike, uh, which having Courser and Pelucranos and all these big monsters is much more effective against. So, uh, And we are victorious. So, so yeah, I mean, we, we ran into a little hiccup early on uh, against the Blue Eyed Heroic deck, um, which, as I mentioned during the deck tech, is uh, a build that this particular version of the deck is not, yeah, you know, certainly not favored against. And it, you can you can do a lot of things to uh, to help improve that matchup. And it's possible that right now I have you know a little overloaded in terms of my cyber cards against some stuff like tokens or perhaps against uh, against constellation. You know, maybe I should have uh, I should have a couple of force aways or savage punches or something like that. Uh, to give me a little bit better uh, better action against Heroic after sideboarding. So, uh, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, definitely very happy with this particular version of Teamer, and it's what I'm going to keep working on uh, this standard season. So I, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.